guys welcome to my channel as you know my channel is essentially to inform you and educate you and inspire you and as usual you know this channel is all about fabric fit and style and so today here is what I have for you I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next one okay. so today we are going to look at how fast fashion failed me at the office guys I almost had a wardrobe malfunction and it's all because of this piece guy so it all started innocently enough I was sitting at my desk when I looked down and saw these uh, uh, strings on my boots guys I was shocked I have been walking around with these on my boots. I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. Then I lifted up my dress and there it was. It was all over my underwear. It was over my tights. Guys, I was shocked and I was so embarrassed that this was happening to me at the office. I felt like my dress was going to fall apart any second and you know my concentration just went out the window because it's so important for you to always know that you're well put together and that everything is intact when you're at the office but this piece of fast fashion item is gonna embarrass me today I started panicking guys and when I panicked I started pulling all the frayed ends together. Finally, I decided that that's not working. So my next option was to go grab a scissors and I started cutting off the frayed ends. And temporarily that helped a little bit. Oh my God, guys, it was a crazy day for me. You do not understand how panicked I was. And this is one of the reasons why I am not happy at all with fast fashion items. And one of the reasons why I became even more sustainable in 2019. Because these items, like many fast fashion items, have quick turnovers. And because of that, they are not made properly. So they are not made to last and this is not going to happen to me anymore. So this is the piece in question and I love this piece. It's actually the second time I am wearing this piece. I got it from a place that cannot be named. So after I got home that evening after work, I decided that it's time to tackle this problem and to start repairing this before it embarrasses me again. I have items that are fraying, how I remedy it and what I do in order to stop them from fraying. Yes, you can cut them off, but for some fabrics, you usually have to go and extra step because it would continue to fray no matter what you do and as soon as you start wearing it it's gonna start fraying again so this is one of the tricks that has worked for me over the years ever since i was in the caribbean when um i didn't have like tons of clothes so i had to really preserve what i have in order for me to get longevity and and lots of wear out of my clothing items i want you to take the utmost caution whenever you're doing this all you need is scissors and oh my god this is the tricky part in my country i often use a candle but here i use a lighter so those are the two main tools that you need for this task. So if you choose to use a lighter, make sure that you get a brand new one 
the ones I have were already almost done so I had to use multiple ones during this task but this is what I do I essentially just find the areas where the item is fraying and I swiftly and efficiently just move the lighter across the area so that it seals it and when you pull on the fabric it wouldn't be fraying anymore that's essentially all I do so you just need to do this with very quick strokes to ensure that you don't get burned or that the item itself doesn't get damaged at the same time you also need to cut off any stray end so this is finally my dress today and <laughs> back at the office guys I could sit with confidence and feel secure in the knowledge that my dress would not fray anymore at the same time this is definitely one of the main reasons i stay away from fast fashion items sorry to interrupt guys but just a quick note hi guys if you just so happen to just click on my video you are new please click the red subscribe button so here they are guys if you click on these buttons you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when i post new videos and most importantly guys it's free thank you so much for subscribing love ya let's get back to the video so item number two is a very similar piece that needs repairing Charlie bible coat i bought it um when she did of course her very first um collaboration with misguided and it was such a shock to find that all the ends were frayed it had so many frayed ends i was shocked when i got it but when i was traveling i took it with me and i got rid of most of the frayed ends but as you can see it's still fraying this was everywhere it was all over the entire length of the coat and I was not very happy. I was thinking of returning it but because I was traveling at the same time I couldn't. So now year, a year or so later it's still fraying and I'm not a very happy camper so again in the spirit of repairing so that i could get more wear out of my items that i have paid my hat on money for i had to also repair this item because i do not want this to embarrass me whenever i'm wearing it so i did the same task as i did with the first one i used the lighter and as you can see I am sealing the frayed ends and guys just to let you know that this task definitely takes some time this particular piece was really damaged in fact all over the item it was raw edges that were not sewn together to help seal the fabric so I had to almost redo every single raw edge so that this item could be wearable and I could get wear from this and yes this is the reason why so many people like to throw things out but it's definitely not the solution so definitely pick a day when you have some patience and time to do this because it demands that because for me my coat has frayed so much that it takes patience and it is a long coat so it's a long way down it's really 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 long as you may have seen from my christmas video this is a long elegant item just the way i like it and you could see how much fabric that's between where it's fraying to where it's sewn so given the chance like within the next 
um, wear and all, even when you wash it, it would all be gone and you'll have to take it to the centrist to have it redone, which is ridiculous. Look how much it has frayed. It has frayed so much that it's it's gonna be coming apart at the seam pretty soon if you don't seal it because look at the distance between the fabric the end of the fabric to where it is sealed that's not a lot so it's definitely um, likely gonna be ruined if you don't seal it look at how look at how little it is guys it's like if it continues to fray all that fabric is gonna be gone and then you're gonna have it the holes soon in your item which would get me so upset so I'll just do it now and prevent that so at least I'll get out some wear out of this because I haven't worn it after all these after so long I haven't worn it because of this ah uh, so let's continue to do this Ali. I, I like you and I, I really want to support you but you have to ensure that misguided is doing a very good quality job because you have to be careful what you put your name to so uh, this is so not cool so it's all done and you see this nice brown coating at the top of the fabric it definitely indicates that it's sealed and it should feel like rough to the touch so yeah that's an indication that it's sealed and also when you try to fray it out again it does not fray so yay I'm quite pleased with the end result and now I feel more confident in wearing my coat. I'll definitely be wearing it pretty soon. I am definitely more confident with wearing this piece now and I do believe that now that I have repaired it I can get more wear out of it as well as this piece I am absolutely pleased with the way it has turned out and glad that it did not end up in a landfill somewhere that I didn't give up on it and I hope that you would find inspiration from this for watching and as I always say remember to always love yourself and to accept your perfect imperfections because they are what make you unique and gorgeous love you guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one